Yo, what is happening, little lizards? It's your boy Lemon Raptor Patrick back at it again, and welcome back to Subnautica. All right, we're good this time recording. You don't you don't want to piss me off? I right, get looks. Hey, hey, you vagina sucker! What, what's up with this? All right. So before I do anything else right now, my recordings the last two times I have the done this. And gone into the inactive lava zone like I am right now. What the hell is that? They uh, they messed up. I went into the in uh the active no <clears throat> the alien thermal plant. I retrieved both the ion battery uh, blueprint and the ion power cell. Are you just gonna um, toy around with me for the rest of the ride? Because I don't want you here. I've also gotten both the upgrades for the shield generator and the fire suppression. So the sea dragon can go fuck off. He can go die. I also need to get some kyanite while I'm here as well. But this episode, I am going to be going down into the active lava zone. Sea dragon. Where you at, bro? No, oh, warpers. Glad to know, I'm glad to know you're still about. Where is the sea dragon at? Can I stop ramming into these? He doesn't seem to want to bug me. But I'm gonna go ahead and save real quick, just in case he decides otherwise. I need to get in there, get that blue tablet, and get the heck out. Well, isn't this is great? Oh my god. Are you gonna be a problem again? Oh no, 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 no. You're not doing that to me. Uh uh. You, sir, can go f f piss off. My God! Fight! Fatality. That didn't work. You know, on second thought, my prawn suit's not that important. I actually don't think it's gonna be that much of a problem. I don't think I'll die. How am I losing oxygen? That really doesn't make sense. Considering that this place is full of it. Ah, I must say. Because you can go in here with the prawn. But you would think there would be oxygen in here. You would think. Well then. I'm gonna go ahead. Oh, okay, it's still saving. Right then. And. Oh! Well, now you wanna work. Well, ow. Getting into my big safe boat. Right then. Um. Yeah, don't mind me. I'm gonna just go put that there for now. And use that. And I'm gonna go ahead and put that in there for now. And I'm gonna lower this down so I can get. God. <laughs> Why does everybody want to kill me? Engine powering up. I don't know where that sea dragon is. Don't do it. He's doing it. He's gonna do it. Let me in, 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 let me in. Aha! Warper, you ain't got nothing on me. And I'm getting the heck out of this place. Time to go down to the active lava zone. I don't know how to get there from here. Don't even go do it. You know, I have more than enough of these things on me. Ooh, this doesn't look good. I don't know how many sea dragons are down here, but I don't know where the other one is. I hear you, buddy. I can't see crap. I'm gonna use Sona. Oh my god, I hit something. I have no idea where that sea dragon is. And it's kind of freaking me out. Even though I have silent running on. No, 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 no. I don't need any more of you on there. Wait. Is this just a dive straight down? I think I found it.
Yep, definitely. This looks like the place. Oh, I'm gonna save right here. Because there's two sea dragons down in this area. I do know that for a fact. And trust me, I do not want to lose this pro this uh, Cyclops. I cannot lose it. I just can't. There's too much valuables in it. But this right here is the, um, the gaping butthole to where I need to be. Should be, at least. Yep, there it is. Yep. Whoa. I am what you seek. Want to help you. What was that? How? Question mark? God. Problem. Sea dragon. What's where you at, buddy? Uh, there it is. I see the. There it is, it's right there. I am absolutely terrified. Um All right then. Sea Dragon, you can just go fuck off. From what I know, those things are far worse than Ghost Leviathans or Reapers. Just put both of them in there as extra credit. I swear, dude, if there's a Warper near me, I'm gonna cry. But guys, this is it. Remember, this is it. Wait, hold on, I gotta get the blue artifact first. I'm not, I forgot I put it in a locker. Just remember, everything that I've worked for, I'm probably going to need purple artifacts, but we'll worry about that path when we get there. Uh-uh. Problem. Here we go. Ooh, fancy. Translating local alien broadcast. Warning, vaccine development program terminated. Emperor A, fetching project terminated. Life specimens terminated. Evacuate immediately. Ah, screw that. I just want to do all the trouble of getting in here. But guys, remember, this is it. This is like literally what the thing I've been trying to do for for years. What? Okay, frame rate. Work with me here. What is all this crap? Hold right, on, let me get this up here. Enzyme 42 project data. PDA data. According to translated data logs, an indigenous leviathan species was found to produce a unique substance referred to as Enzyme 42, which inhibited the symptoms of the Karar, bacterial infection, and other indigenous organisms. The specimen was captured and contained in an all-purpose built habitat for further study. <coughs> the alien researchers went to great lengths to provide for the life form's environmental needs. 
including the import of interdependent flora and fauna via an on-site warp gate. However, its health quickly deteriorated. When quarantine was imposed, all warp gates and force fields were sealed. All attempts to develop the enzyme into a vaccine had been unsuccessful. So basically, that's why all the freaking um, warp gates are closed off. It's because of this whole um, thing. It's generating more of those. That's interesting. Um, I need a purple tablet for you, right? Blue? Blue? How much kyanite do I need for this? Please tell me I just need two. Because Lemon will be upset. I'm assuming it's going to be uh, kyanite. Uh, two. Yes. We'll have to hold that thought. I'm gonna go make um another blue artifact because I can't get into the Emperor's uh, containment facility without it. So yeah, we'll do that real quick. I mean, there was kyanite right outside, but like still, like I'm not trying to be out here with a sea dragon. Safe. But yeah, dude, this is interesting though because all the warp gates on the planet were shut down just because the the. The quarantine um, plan that was started here be was unsuccessful. Problem, problem, problem. Nope, no, 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 no. Get, get inside. But yeah, like literally, the um, they stopped all the warp gates. That's why you can't access them from anywhere else on the planet. Like that's the only reason you can't access them is because the Karar was or this was unsuccessful. Okay. So I'll save that for for later. I'm gonna go check out the rest of this place before I go in there. What is this? Wait, where's my scanner? Crap, it's on the. I left it. I left it on the Raptor. I totally forgot about that crap. All right, well, whatever. We'll come back to this then. We'll just go ahead and go into the containment now, and then I'll go get my scanner after I'm done with that. Don't you even do it. Here it is, guys. The whole... Oh, am I ready for this? Everything I've done in Subnautica has led up to this point. Oh, here goes nothing. Heads up. Watch it. What? Um, are you friendly? Are you here to play? No, I'm here on a mission. Others came here once. They built these walls. They played alone. They bored me. Now they're gone. And instead, we have you. We are curious whether you swim with the current or fight against it as they did. Wait a Where are you going? Oh my god, she's massive. Do I just go? Oh, is my prawn gonna be able to handle this? Detecting unusually passive behavioral patterns in nearby predators. Reason unknown. Wait. What? What? Whoa, bro, she's massive. These are her eggs. Gel sacks, okay. That could be helpful. Insert an ion. <laughs> prawny, prawny, give it to me. Environmental 
Thermal scans indicate the water here is rich with a rare, plankton-like life form, which depends on the organic detritus produced by the ecosystem around it. Cool. Can I help you? My young need to hatch, to play outside this place. We have been here so long. The others built a passage to reach the world outside. I asked them for this freedom, but they could not hear me. If you help us, I will give you freely what the others tried in vain to take. And do here, what is that? What is do? Alright. Oh! I need the hatching enzymes. What are you doing? I fear that she's gonna kill me. Don't mind me. I just need to. Don't mind me, baby girl. Don't mind me. I really should have brought. I really should go get my um. My scanner. There. With the passage you have opened. My young can leave this place, but first they must feel the time is right and break free of their shells. This is what the others could not force from me. To you, I give the secret willingly. Hatching enzymes. All right. So what do I need to make these? Advanced theories. Okay, hold on. We'll check on that in a minute. Hatching enzymes. Okay. Eye stock, sea crown, ghost weed, bulb bush sample, and fungal sample. Alright, I do know where to find the bulb bush. I know where to find eye stock. I don't know about fungal. The sea crown, I think, is also in the bulb zone with the uh, bulb bush. But I do have um, Ghost Suite already. I already have one. But yeah, dude, this is all really fascinating, though. All right, hold on. I'm going to read up on that um, thing that she gave me. Okay, but we have the hatching enzymes now, which is good. But I, I want to read up on her. I peed myself. Ah, CMPRS lifestyle. Life cycle. Available biological data has been used to synthesize the effects of the alien bacterium on the CMPRS natural life, life cycle. This creature likely lived and moved in small herds around the planet's ocean trenches, coming to the surface to feed off the huge volumes of microorganisms in the shallower waters. Family size would be strictly limited to, by available food supply. Offspring would be likely split off at a young age to form their own herds elsewhere. Given their sparse population, mating and egg laying was likely an infrequent, perhaps a once-in-a-lifetime event. The species had a preferred environment for egg laying, in fact, successful hatching may depend on such conditions. Given the rarity of this event, it is impossible to calculate those conditions precisely. There is no evidence to support the assumption that all members of the species were immune from the alien bacterium. Even if this is so, there is evidence that introduction of the bacterium decimated life on the planet, and this would have had catastrophic effects on the emperor's food supply and survival rate. The symbiotic, symbiotic, symbiotic relationship between the specimen and other life forms likely developed as a direct result of the bacterial infection. Those life forms which learned to keep the emperor alive survived with its help. This may explain the vast tracts of lifeless ocean in a rough perimeter of, around the emperor's sea location. That's interesting. So basically all the predators that live inside this containment facility are basically passive. So if a reaper lived in here, it'd be passive, basically, from what that looks. 
Now I could be mis I could be wrong on this. Now I want to see if I can find like any any uh, specific areas. What what is this? What is new? Not anywhere I want to go. Like I would like to be able to do the hatching enzymes this episode. I just don't think I'd have time. What is this? Imagine if I could find like all the um, the hatching enzyme stuff right here. Well, there's one right there, the sea crown. Would you look at that? Welcome to the captain. There was one that I wasn't even expecting to find. So now all I need is the bull bush. I have the the ghost weed already. I just need to get the ice stock. Wait, where's my sea moth? Okay, it's up there at the mountain base. I think that's where this takes me. Let's hope so. Can I like scan this? Ah, yeah, I can. Okay, cool. Hatching enzymes, advanced theories. <coughs> the emperor specimen eggs are attached to some form of incum uh, incubator. Incubator. My bad. <clears throat> in a normal life cycle, it seems likely that the sea emperors would have buried their eggs in shallower waters, where different organic materials in the soil would have triggered a hatching response. The incubator suggests the aliens had resorted to developing artificial hatching enzymes, which would uh, simulate the egg's natural hatching environment, but were unable to discover the formula. With extensive information on the sea emperors themselves, it may still be possible to fabricate an artificial hatching enzyme using indigenous ingredients. However, the only surviving source of that information may be the sea emperor itself. That's interesting. So basically, before the, the sea emperor found its home down here, basically they... The, the aliens um, found out that they grew their uh, eggs on the surface. Like, sea emperors aren't usually down this deep. But somehow they've uh, created some sort of alien... Some sort... God, I can't even talk today. They've uh, generated some sort of alien technology to house this giant creature long enough so it could survive. Well, I'm a safe. Alright, I'm gonna get in my sea moth and we're gonna go get the stuff for the hatching enzymes. Um, I already have two of them. I have the sea crown. The first thing I'm gonna get is probably gonna be the most tedious one. And probably the most dangerous one. And that's gonna be the bull bush. Of course, I don't have a knife out. Come on. Give me, give me, give me, give me, give me. Ugh. Got it. And now I'm getting the heck out of here. Now, I'm gonna go to the mushroom forest first, because that's where the next thing is that I need. It's on the, the actual mushroom. Which, I didn't know. I thought it was actually, like, a physical thing on the back of a reef back, but I guess that works. I'm cool with the mushroom kingdom. It's usually, like, it used to be right where I live, anyway. I can drink my piss for all I care. Got it. Oh, I'm gonna save right here because I'm going into deadly territory. I'm gonna just get in there and get the hell out. God, this is so nerve wracking. The fact that the game won't even load is kind of pissing me off. Oh well. Mama didn't raise no bitch. Mama didn't raise no bitch. Just let me in. Let me in. Oh. I hate this, I hate this. Give me it. I'm out. I'm safe, safe. I hate this, I hate this. I'm out. I'm dipping. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. Yes. Save that shit. That shit, save it already. Vital signs stabilizing. Now it makes sense. By the way, all the um, the warp gates here will take us to the other caches, I think. Fun fact. I want to say that.
Why are you floating? Welcome aboard, Captain. Yeah, here we go, guys. Yeah. Hey. <laughs> Hi. Hi, how are you? I pissed myself. Thought I'd share that with you. Are you gonna say anything? No? Oh, I did. What? My young are swimming for the shallows. I thank you. Their freedom is my end. What will it be like, I wonder, to go to sleep and never wake up? What? Perhaps next we meet, I will be an ocean current, carrying seas to a new land. Or a creature so small, it sees the gaps between the grains of sand. Farewell. That's so sad. I killed her. I literally just killed her. Without even realizing it. Oh, that's so sad. Basically, when I had some, she died. That's so sad. So basically, she was only alive to watch her babies be hatched. And once they were hatched, she did her mission. She did what she wanted to do. That's so sad. Yeah, I'm still infected. That's so sad. Goodbye, old friend. That's so sad, dude. Really, that is truly sad. And we will leave my prawn down here, too. Enzyme 42. I'm cured, huh? Welcome aboard, Captain. Which means there's one last thing to do. It's time to disable the thing that started all of this. Thank you, Gun, for causing all this. This is a fun game. I mean, we're not done yet, obviously. Because we still have to get off the planet. But, I mean... Like, literally. This game is just such a well-made game, guys. Believe it or not. I mean, the story was flawless. I mean that with a capital F. Flawless. I mean, it's a really well-made game. <clears throat> I mean, the developers took... Why, why am I going back out? The developers took four to five years to finish this game. And people say it's a bad game. People don't understand how well this game is. How good of a game it is. Like, if you're not into open-world survival, that, hey, that's not your style. You can say whatever you want. <clears throat> But once you grasp the story of how well this game actually was made, you just, there's just n no going back. I mean, it was such a phenomenal story. 
I mean, there's just so much to do. I never got bored playing Subnautica. Literally. Yeah, I may have gotten bored, like, recording it. But I never got bored playing it. Just, it's such a well-balanced game. With a great story, a lot of stuff to do. Just so much potential. And I can't wait for the Arctic DLC to come out. Alright game, before you have an anxiety attack. Here we go guys, it's go time. Can't touch this. I did it! The gun is disabled! Sounds awesome. Ooh, hold on. All right, hold on, buddy. Load in the frames. Why is it why is my game laggy all of a sudden? Oh, it's just loading in crop. Probably. I did it. And with that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode of Subnautica. We made immense progress. I don't even have to begin with the progress that we made. Because we've done the inevitable. Only select YouTubers have gotten this far within this game. And the story behind it was fantastic. There is going to be probably one or two more episodes of Subnautica. Depending on what you guys want. I will definitely be doing only one or two more. That's a given. Those will be the last two. Uh, the last one will be the finale where I leave. However, you guys can determine if you guys want me to go to the other alien caches and all that crap. You guys can determine that. Or if you guys just want me to cut it at the end of the next episodes, the next two. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Um, I'm sorry about that though. It's unfortunate. But, we have to say goodbye to the Sea Emperor, which is unfortunate. But, thank you guys again so much for watching this video. And if you guys are new to the channel and do like my content, remember to show support by subscribing. And if you're new to the channel, wait, never mind. You already know the memo. Thank you guys again so much for watching. My name is Lemon Raptor, and I'll catch you all in the next video. Bye-bye.